Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to replace the valve cover gasket on your 2008 Honda Accord equipped with the 2.4 liter 4 cylinder IV Tech engine. Now before we can remove the valve cover from the top of our motor, that we need to remove this plastic finishing garnish cover from the top side of our engine. And this can be accomplished by undoing the two 10 millimeter bolts on each side of the cover and then gently lifting it off of the stud um, that's in the middle of the engine. Next, we want to make sure that we unbolt things like the breather hoses located here. And just simply pulling that off. Undo the side bracket here that holds this hose and bracket assembly to the valve cover. Undo the vacuum hose for the brake booster system. Just tuck that out of the way. Disconnect the hose on the back of our valve cover. Undo the bracket for the or the bolt that goes into the valve cover in the back bracket. Then we're gonna undo these spark plug covers. Undo the power steering securing bracket. And then just lift the hose and bracket assembly out of the way. Unplug each spark plug coil by pressing down on this connector and disconnecting it from the ignition module. And then remove all four spark plug coils. Lift the ignition wiring harness out of the valve cover channel and tuck it away to the wards of the back of the engine bay. What we're going to do next is unscrew the screw securing the valve cover to the cylinder head. And that is done by undoing one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Now you need to be careful when you're undoing this because you don't want to drop these cap nuts uh, down into the spark plug holes, uh, otherwise you're going to have to get a tool to fish them out. You don't actually need to remove the spark plugs on this engine, um, just because the spark plugs are in the head and not in the actual valve cover itself. Remove the dipstick. Once the cap nuts have been removed, use a flat bladed screwdriver and gently pry at the flat washers and the accompanying rubber sealing grommet on each of the studs. Save these parts for reinstallation later, or if they show signs of wear, find suitable replacements. To make the valve cover removal really easy, just go up in here by the power steering pump and then just very gently, not on the seam between the cylinder head and the valve cover, but on the tab that's just directly above it, take your pry bar and gently pry up. You want to pay careful attention here that sometimes some of these rubber grommets that are on the valve cover will also pop off. So if you can get them off in advance, it's always best. Lift the valve cover assembly off of the motor. Now it can be quite a snug fit, especially around the power steering hose area. So you're just going to have to be patient and just work the, the lid out. Carefully lift the gasket off of the cylinder head surfaces if it didn't come off with the cover. Get a clean rag or a paper towel and clean the gasket surfaces of the cylinder head, making sure that there are no traces of old sealant or gasket material. So on our cylinder head, we want to make sure that we actually pay particular attention to the area where the timing chain is directly right here, as well on that back side where you see that little bit of oil on the head surface as well as on the opposing end down in that channel right here 
as well as back there to make sure that there's no uh, remnants of any old liquid gasket maker from the factory. Um, now I've already taken a screwdriver and carefully removed any excess or uh, removed any old sealant uh, from those areas. So even though the previous video segment showed that the cylinder head was already devoid of any old liquid gasket, but I'm just showing you guys here that I'm using a flat bladed screwdriver to very, very gently scrape away the old liquid gasket from the cylinder head. So right now I'm just kind of poking and prodding away at the timing chain area where that head transition pieces if you can sort of see that casting line and then subsequently i'm going to make my way over to the other side and clean up the camshaft valve train hump area to ensure that i have a good steel well this is the replacement valve cover gasket for this accord and the part number is one two three four one r four zero a zero zero and that's a valve cover gasket for the 2.4 liter iv tech four cylinder for a 2008 honda accord the easiest way to install this cover gasket is to find the curved end of our gasket and then start off on the end where it dips down and then just make our way around the cover. So once the gasket has been firmly seated and there should be no bumps or kinks of any sort, we can then use a product called Permatex Ultra Gray, which is the same as Honda Bond. Now, when applying the Permatex Ultra Gray or Honda Bond, you want to apply it on the gasket area where there is a sharp transition as where you see it uh, in the video. So where I'm applying it right now is on the driver side and where the cylinder head essentially humps over the camshaft or the valve train area. Now, this particular area that I'm applying it to is around the timing chain area. And although there's not necessarily a hard transition like it is on the right hand side of this video, that it's actually an area where the cylinder head is split into two pieces and there's a transition joint. So I believe the factory applied some in that area. So that's why I'm reapplying it here. Make sure that you apply a sufficient amount of sealant on the gasket surfaces. Um, you don't want to apply blobs of it, but you don't want to apply too thin of a layer. So just as a recap, on the cylinder head when I pulled this off there was liquid gasket in this region here as well as the curved surfaces um, uh, towards the driver side of the motor. So I'm just replacing it with what came off and now I've allowed the gasket material to set for about 5 to 10 minutes. We can now go ahead and reinstall it on the motor. And to do so, we just do the reverse of how we took it off. But usually, reinstallation is actually easier than the removal. So once this cover is on, making sure that the gasket hasn't fallen out, we can press the cover gasket down firmly onto our cylinder head. Reinstall your grommets and cap nuts. Tighten everything down in a staggered pattern. Don't tighten everything down too tightly just yet. Get everything started and then progressively tighten. Torque the cap nuts to a final torque rating of 6 to 8 foot pounds each. Replace the engine oil dipstick. Install the spark plug coils replace the engine wiring harness assembly and plug the spark plug coils back in Place the power steering securing bracket. Gain tightening to just finger tight. Reinstall the engine garnish cover. Let's 
install the bracket to the side of the valve cover, noting that the shorter 10 millimeter screw is the rear one and the slightly longer one is towards the front. Reattach the hoses. Reinstall the engine garnish cover by lining up the load grommet on the back side of the cover to the stud in the middle of the engine. Simply press on. And this concludes our video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.